this guy right here is making around about $14,000 per month online every single month. And what I want to do in this video is show you one of the methods he is actually using to make this $14,000 per month. And I'm going to show you how to make money with Redbubble online. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the internet and make money online using Redbubble. And it's a really simple strategy. And that guy that I just showed you, he's using one of these methods to actually make that income. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. And not only that, I'm actually going to be showing you a secret tool that I've never showed on this channel before. And not many people know about this. So you can make more money online with Redbubble. Now, what can you expect from this tutorial? I will show you how to get started, how to get the tools that you need. And this is a step-by-step -step tutorial. And I'm going to show you how to get this all done in the next 10 minutes. So let's jump into this completely free tutorial. And I will show you how to make money on Redbubble in 2023. All right, guys, the first step in this Redbubble tutorial is to go to google.com and put in Bubble Spider and then click on bubblespider.com. And it's gonna bring us to a website that looks exactly like this. And we're gonna use this to find low competition niches to make money in. The first thing you actually wanna do is you wanna take the trend bar and you wanna make sure the trend bar is in the green numbers here. The green numbers mean that it's trending. This is really important. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna do max competition and you wanna bring it round down a little bit. So you can do like 1500, 500 or whatever you like. And this is gonna show us the max competition. The lower, the better, but if you go too low, you might find stuff that um, is, you, you're gonna really bring down your niche and you're not gonna have as many niches that you can actually go into. The next step on trademark is you want to tick the red one and make sure that it's turned to the X. Now, as you can see, down here, it says page 20. And if we actually put this trending more down, it'll page 10. So you kind of narrow it down, but let's get into it. What, what this does is this is finding us trending topics on Redbubble with low competition. So for example, hot dog girl summer is trending like crazy but the competition is quite low so if we actually copy this right here and put it into redbubble and we go and paste it into redbubble.com to see what this is we can see that this is a t-shirt called hot dog girl summer now this is actually a really good one because it's trending quite high and it's a low competition uh, particular niche now let's just keep scrolling down here i just want to have a look at, at a few just to kind of go through and see if there's anything that kind of stands out to me but we're just gonna go through some examples here real quick. All right, another one that I found was this one here, and this is called the banana cat meme. And what this is, is it's a, me it's a cat in a banana. I am aware of this meme right now, and people are selling stickers, t-shirts, and all sorts of things like that. So that's the first step to making money on Redbubble, is to go through this particular popular keyword search tool and find trending products in low competition niches, and then go and create products around those particular um, products. And as you can see here, this graph will show you like when it's been trending. So if we actually look at Spiderpunk, for example, it just started trending recently on Google. So that could be another good one as well. So if we go to Spiderpunk, and as you can see, it's it's a Spider-Man, um, that's Spider-Punk. I don't really know too much about Spider-Punk, but that's what Spider-Punk seems to be on Redbubble. And then we also have some other ones that are kind of breakout right now. All right, and another one here I found was um, Wolf with Flowers Girl. Now this one, the reason I picked this one is because it would be great for our example to kind of show you the type of stuff that you could go ahead and create. So for this one, for example, you could go and do t-shirts, you could do stickers, and I actually saw some really cool stickers before, so there's some stickers here. And you can create this, there's two ways you can create this. Oh, that's a really nice sticker there as well. So there's a few ways you can go ahead and create these types of stickers. But before we get into that, if you don't know what Redbubble is, essentially Redbubble is a website where people go ahead and they sell t-shirts, stickers, art. So you can see there's some Assassin's Creed stuff here, pillows, um, stickers, phone cases, posters, wall art, hats, some pet stuff. It's essentially like an Etsy, but it's called Redbubble. And I'm showing you how to make money on Redbubble. So now I'm gonna show you exactly how you can go and get some content. So let's say, hey, you're gonna pick this specific niche 
and you want to make money in this niche. Let's take a look at two options. You can do t-shirts and stickers. So what I would do if it was me, I'll show you two ways to do this. You can go to fiverr.com and you can put in t-shirt design. Um, let's put t-shirt design and you can manually find someone to design t-shirts for you, right? So as you can see, there's all of these people who will design t-shirts for you. So let's just click on this one here, which is Fiverr's choice. I actually, no, let's go for one that's a little bit cheaper um, that I think we can find. Let's do this one here. Now keep in mind these are New Zealand dollars, so you can actually take off about 30% to get to US dollars. So for example, this is a starter pack for, we'll just say 40 US dollars. And you would get one initial concept design and then you'll get all of the information that you need to go ahead and create yourself a t-shirt. Don't worry, you don't have to hold stock or anything like that. So you can go ahead and you can use fiverr.com to go and find people who will create t-shirts for you. Or you could do a standard package or a premium where you would get some more stuff on top of it, I presume. You'd have to go through and read the information. Now, if we go back here, you can see there is a ton of people who are willing to do t-shirt designs for you. So you're never gonna run out of people who will design the t-shirts for you to sell. The next thing we can do is stickers. You can find people on here who are willing to create stickers for you, as you can see. This guy will design some stickers for you. This person here, looks like they have some really nice stickers. They will do four initial concepts for 25 New Zealand dollars, let's say 16 US dollars. And then we have standard and a premium package. So it's actually really cheap considering all you have to do is sell a, a specific amount to make your money back and then you're in the profit. And because you're gonna be saying, hey, I want stickers based around this specific niche, well, it's gonna be easier and you're not gonna have as many revisions because they're gonna know exactly what you want to get done. Now, the next option is you could use something like midjourney.com. Now, Midjourney is an AI bot where you can go and get things created. So for example, I got these dog stickers done that we're gonna use in this example just to get this tutorial out to you as fast as possible. And these are some stickers that I created. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can go and create content to upload to Redbubble to make money on Redbubble. Once you've got some content designed, and in this specific example, we're gonna use stickers, what you wanna do is you wanna head over to Redbubble to make money with Redbubble and make sure you have a Redbubble account. Once you're signed into your Redbubble account, and this is a brand new one for this tutorial, you wanna click on account and click on sell your art. And then you wanna go create products and designs. Now, keep in mind guys, that Redbubble is a print on demand service. You don't actually keep any of the products. So if you take a look down here, you'll see that we have all sorts of products that we could use this specific design on. I could do a t-shirt if I wanted to, or I can do anything. I can do stickers and all sorts of stuff. Okay, as we scroll down, there are so many options that you can use. All right, guys, so I've found the stickers here and you can do things like phone cases where you can pick different types of phone cases. You can scale the image and things like that. But I'm gonna click on stickers. And I'm just gonna leave it like this. There's nothing that I really need to change. However, you can change your markup. So I'm just gonna leave it at a 20% markup. But, or you could do a 30% markup or you could do a 10% markup if you like, right? This is the profit that you make per sale. So it's how much you make, you make a percentage. So if you sold, let's put it, let's just leave it at 20. If you sold this specific um, sticker for a dollar, you would make 20 cents, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, but these are the prices that you're gonna be, that, that, that they're gonna be selling for. So Magnix 12, uh, glossy sticker, three to 23 and then, three to 20 and four to 25. And then you just go apply changes. So now we have that ready to go. And all you do is you put in your description. Now this is really important. You actually wanna make sure you put in your description um, like quite, you know, cause people search, right? So for example, so what I would do guys is I would put in um, stickers and then dogs, so dog stickers and see what kind of sub names that come up like pug, poodle and things like that. So I'm gonna actually go with Lab Labrador because this one here is actually a what's cross Labrador and um, and German short nose pointer. We're probably gonna put a Labrador pet sticker. And then you wanna put in some tags, okay? So stuff like pet, dog, sticker, and, th and things like that. Now, I'm not gonna do them all right now for this tutorial, but you wanna fill in the tags section because when people search, 
that's what's going to come up via tags and things like that. These are actually really, really cool stickers. The next step is you want to put in a bit of a description. What you can do is you can go back to here and you can click on some of these and you can, don't copy their descriptions, but you can get some ideas of the features and that's the description, adorable smiling black Labrador. Or that's the title maybe, no, black lab sticker. So very basic, but you can go through these particular stickers and see what types of descriptions they have done. I'm just gonna put um, dog sticker again. But it's important that you put something in there. And then I'm just gonna go all the way down and just, um, we'll go, I don't know, we'll just put drawing art, pick a couple of things here. And that's it. And I'm gonna go save work. Now I have a sticker ready to go. The next step is you want to you want to you have to upload five of these, okay? And the next step you want to go sell your art. You want to go set up your store, and you want to go through the process of adding a um, profile picture, adding a cover image, adding your social links. You don't have to add your social links, and then adding a bio. And then what you want to do is you want to go through the process of adding your name and address, confirm your email, confirm your mobile number, and add your payment details. So your payment details are going to be. Um, I'll do this real quick for you and then we'll move on. So I'm gonna do um, US dollars PayPal. And then what I would do is I would hook up my PayPal account and then I would verify my PayPal account. I'm not gonna do that in this video. And then I'll click save changes. I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay, so what I would need to do is put in all my personal details and stuff like that. And you just fill it out, putting your payment information, and then you're ready to make money online with Redbubble. All right, guys, so that's how you can make money online with Redbubble. But the most important part is to make sure you use this specific tool. I'm not affiliated or anything. Use this tool. It's free to find trending products on Redbubble. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, tap that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.